Today we are going to be doing our M&M spreadsheet lesson. Now, just to be 100% clear, you do not need a bag of M&Ms uh, in order to do this lesson today. It can be a bag of Skittles, it can be a sleeve of, of Starburst, uh, it can be the wrappers that you've had in your pocket for the last week. That's totally fine. You just need something that you will be able to organize. And when I say organize, I'm talking about like when you open a bag of M&Ms, you have that assortment of colors, uh, red, blue, yellow, um, and you are going to be organizing that bag of M&Ms. I'm going to say M&Ms just because that makes things simpler. Um, you're going to be organizing those by colors for this spreadsheet today. Now, I'm a big believer in this lesson. Um, spreadsheets are a very powerful tool for you to use, and I know that might be kind of a little wild to believe, especially because uh, spreadsheets, at least when I, I was younger, like back in the Stone Age when I was in middle school, um, I always associated with spreadsheets with like... Um, older computers like Windows 95, those computers that if uh, if you drop them, you know, they might fall to the center of the earth because they're that heavy. Uh, but spreadsheets, you know, I was told when I was younger that uh, by the time I got older, spreadsheets would be obsolete. They wouldn't be needed to be used anymore because we were moving on. You know, we had, uh, we were starting to see smartphones. We were starting to see all kinds of new technologies that made spreadsheets feel you know, a little dated. Now, I thought that until I started getting my first jobs and being, um, and learn, knowing how to use spreadsheets was a requirement for those jobs. And after I started using spreadsheets, I realized just how powerful of a tool that they are. Now, spreadsheets, I have a lot of students who compare them to leaderboards uh, when they are uh, using spreadsheets for the first time. If you use, uh, if you collect football cards, baseball cards, even Pokemon cards, if you look under like the the picture of the Pokemon card, you can even see like the move. So like uh, Zapdos knows Thunderbolt, and Thunderbolt is like eighty power right there. That that arrangement even looks a little bit like a spreadsheet. But spreadsheets are phenomenal for organizing data and helping you compile data. Um, they were incredible uh, for my wife and I as we we have budgeted uh, different trips. We're both teachers. We've budgeted different trips over the summer, um, and using spreadsheets as a budgeting tool for our income um, has has been incredible um, uh, for us. Uh, I also use spreadsheets. Uh, the books uh, uh, that I write and sell, I, that's how I calculate the sales and the total books sold. And I also use it uh, for the nonprofit um, that I run. That's how we keep track of all of our donations as well. Um, but uh, I know all of that, you might uh, hear all of that, it might not sound like the most exciting thing, which is why today we're focusing on M&Ms, and we're going to be using a spreadsheet to organize M&Ms today, and also, of course, this is our first lesson in our battleship unit, where we'll eventually use spreadsheets in order to create battleship boards uh, and be able to play battleship over Google Meets. So. To get started uh, with spreadsheets, uh, the platform that we're going to be using today, we're going to be using Google Sheets today. Um, you are able to apply a lot of these skills to Microsoft Excel as well as uh, the Apple platform on uh, Numbers. Uh, but today we'll be focusing on Google Sheets just because it is accessible um, and free uh, for everyone and everyone can access it and everyone can get started right away. And so to do that, this is kind of the Google Sheets main page right here. We're gonna click on the big blue button that says go to Google Sheets. All right, and then we're going to click blank. All right, so first things first, when we are opening up a spreadsheet for the first time, I highly recommend giving that spreadsheet a title. Uh, with Google Docs and Google Sheets, uh, sometimes you get really easy just to have a bunch of untitled projects. And so the first thing that I do, and I say this as someone, I had one of those backpacks as a student that had like a mountain, like every time I would open the backpack, it was like a mountain of papers would just somehow fly out of the backpack. I was, you know, I, and I was always carrying like a leaning tower of materials whenever I would go from classroom to classroom. Um, and so to try to combat that and not have a digital leaning tower on Google Drive, I, I try to first things first, always name all of my projects. And I'm going to keep this simple and call this Mr. H's M&M spreadsheet. 
All right. Now, the one thing with spreadsheets that I love is you are able to give a natural title to the very top of your spreadsheet. So think if you've ever had to write research papers, you usually have a title um, at, you know, at the top that's usually centered. And you can do the same exact thing with spreadsheets. So the first thing we're going to do is click on A1. That is not the steak sauce. That is the cell address. Now, a cell address, this should be where it starts sounding like Battleship. Um, this is how you identify where you are in a spreadsheet. So uh, C3, I would go to C, go to 3, boom, I'm on C3. Um, and same with like E4, E4, boom, right there. That is called a cell address. Um, and so we're going to start with the cell address of A1. I'm then going to hold down the shift button and click all the way to G1. And then what I'm going to do in order to make this a title is I'm going to go up to this button right here. It looks like a box with two arrows pointing at each other. Um, and that is the merge cells button that will bring that will make all the cells from A1 into G and G1 into a single cell. So I'm going to click on that. Boom. And that merges all my cells from A1 to G1. And then I'm going to just name it the same title. I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm going to put Mr. H's m, &M Spreadsheet. All right. So once that's there, I'm going to select it. And just like in a research paper or in a Google Doc, um, you are able to center it too. So we're going to actually go over right beside the Merge Cells button. There is the Alignment button. We're going to click on that Alignment button and we're going to click center and that will center the title. Now you may notice it is a very small font so if you don't want your teacher, if you are doing this for an assignment and you don't want your teacher to have to use a magnifying glass in order to read it, what you can do is select your text, go to font size, and I'm going to go to 24. Um, try to keep it maybe 36 at the most whenever you get into that like font size 72 to 96 you kind of dominate the entire spreadsheet with uh, your title let's keep it simple and instead I'm going to click on 24 and then you can pick whatever font you want just like uh, just like with um, Google Docs you're able to change your font as long as I can read it so not one of those classical fonts um, where um, you again I can barely tell you know what's being said uh, let's make it simple and pick a font that you like uh, that your teacher can read that's very important um, and so and there you have Mr. H's m, m spreadsheet but you know I want to add a color to that too and so if you go over and find the paint bucket right here it's right it's two to the left of the merge cells button you're going to see the paint bucket that is the fill color button you're gonna click on that and you know what I'm going to pick orange um, it's been it's been a year I've been remote teaching since March Oh, 2020, and it's now March 2021, and so um, I will say, though, uh, this is the most optimistic I have been feeling in a long time about our world. I uh, just got my first vaccination, and we have are now getting 3 million people vaccinated a day, so you know what? I'm going to go with kind of like that rising sun um, um, to kind of represent that optimism, and there you go. We got a fill color. Now, because we are organizing this spreadsheet um, by the colors of the M&Ms that you have in your bag or as the colors of Skittles, Starburst, wrappers in your pocket, Legos, marbles, whatever you're using for this lesson, I'm again going to stick to M&Ms. Um, you're go we're going to first put colors under A2. So you're going to go to A2, go to colors. And you know what? We really want that to stand out for whoever's looking at your spreadsheet. So I'm going to select the word colors, and I'm going to go up to the bold button, that big bolded B, and I'm going to click on that button, and boom, we have it bolded. Now under B2, this is where uh, I'm going. you're going to put your name. I'll put my name as Mr. H. Now, for this lesson, um, you're going to uh, partner up with four different people. Uh, the names of your partners are going to go from C2 to F2, and your partners, uh, and your partners, you're going to basically compare uh, what the different colors of Skittles or M&Ms that you had uh, that you had in your bags, and you're going to organize it that way. Uh, but because uh, I'm doing this, you know, I'm doing this remotely, uh, and I don't have any partners, I'm going to put in fictional partners. So we're going to start 
um, with Wanda. How about Wanda? Yeah. So, uh, Wanda, uh, just to be topical, but did you know she once created an entire force field that allowed her to create an entire alternate alternate reality where she could have as many M&Ms as she wanted? Just a huge fan of M&Ms, so I had to mention her right there under C2. Under D2, we're going to do Thanos. Now, can you believe this guy? He once snapped half of M&Ms, half of all M&Ms out of existence. It was really, really sad when we lost the yellow M&M. The commercials just weren't the same after that, you know, and that five-year sort of blip that happened after. That is under D2, and under E2, we're going to put Mando, who once protected a brave little green M&M across the galaxy. So cute. What a story. And then we're going to go F2, and under F2, I'm going to put Alex. You might be hearing Alex chirp in the background of this video. That is my near five month old uh, who has not had an m, &M yet uh, but uh, Alex there are some amazing m, m onesies that we might have to look into because those would just be adorable and after putting your last partner's name under F2 you're going to go to G2 and put average and just like uh, the colors under A2 we're going to bold average just so it stands out to whoever is looking over your spreadsheet. All right, so under A3, this is when we're gonna start typing out colors. I'm gonna start with red, go to blue, go to yellow, green, and then I'll put brown slash purple since M&Ms and Skittles have a, a different color there. And then under 8, I'm going to put, under A8, excuse me, I'm going to put orange. All right, and just to make things stand out, I'm going to put a fill color under each of these colors. But instead of going with that kind of standard red, um, those kind of standard colors, they just, they just, they're very loud. And sometimes they're kind of just really an insult to the eyes. I'm going to go with a lighter color and do like light red to under blue. I'll do light cornflower blue too, and et cetera, et cetera. I do those kind of light colors and fill things out. Um, and when we do get to brown slash purple, I'm personally going to fill it out like Colors of the Rainbow. I'll do light purple. But if you want to do light brown, that's totally fine. Um, you, would click the, um, you would click the custom colors. I'll show you where that is under custom, and you'll get a wheel option. And if you wanted to put in a light brown, you totally could. And then I'll put in light orange. And there you go. And then under the colors... I'm going to put total. And just like we saw in A2 and G2 with colors and averages, under A9, I'm going to bold it. Now, this is where we get to one of the best parts. This is where you get to open up your bag of M&Ms. Now, unfortunately for me, um, I won't be eating M any M&Ms today because... Well, very fortunately for me, I had a root canal about uh, three days ago. Um, had a uh, uh, a lot of tooth pain for a very long time, um, and um, luckily that root canal has done amazing things to help give me um, pretty immediate relief. And so um, I'm someone I've always struggled with my teeth uh, to the point where I have both, like I literally have the numbers of both my dentists and can text them because of the level that my teeth are at. Um, but I, w I can say now from personal experience, root canals, if you are in a lot of tooth pain, they are nothing, nothing to fear. Um, um, and so, but today I won't be eating and we get a nice, amazing cameo from my wife, Nat, and uh, baby Alex there. But uh, I can say that... Um, Root canals are nothing to fear, but I won't be eating any M&Ms today. But luckily, I will be using the information that I had from the fun size pack of M&Ms that I used for this lesson about four years ago in my tech class. So I will fill out the numbers there. I had three red, one blue, two yellow, two green, four brown, and zero orange. Now, I know you can probably do the mental math here, but I don't want you to. Don't do the mental math for the total. We're going to do something different for the totals. Now, I'm going to fill out 
ev I'll put in everyone else's. And um, so this is where you would then at this moment, um, this is where you would talk with your friends, figure out what totals they had in their bags of M&Ms, bags of Skittles, and put that information on this part of the spreadsheet. I'm going to input uh, whoever my partners were four years ago. I'll now input their data here. So shout out to the students that I worked with on this about uh, four years ago, because I'll be using that information here for Wando, Thanos, Mando, and Alex's info. And now we have all of the colors that everyone had in their bag of M&Ms. So this is where I now want you to go to total. We're going to go to B9. We're now going to go into the functions of Google Sheets. Now this is one of the most powerful tools. The functions, the formulas, one of the most powerful tools that Spreadsheets has to offer um, because these functions are what allow you uh, to do uh, to calculate um, whether you're calculating things for a budget, trying to figure out how much money you have left over um, after getting paid, um, trying to figure out how much that you want to save. This is where uh, these functions really uh, come in handy because they can do this math automatically. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go over, it's the last button over here, and it almost looks Greek. Uh, it is, and it almost looks like an E to it is the functions button. You're going to click on this, and you know what? I'll scroll down just a little bit so you can see. I'll scroll just a little bit. And we're going to click on the button and click on sum. Now the first thing you'll see is you now have a little what looks like a math formula over here. It says sum, and then there's parentheses. I uh, because I am adding up all of my totals over here, I am going to click on B3. And you'll notice it says sum now B3. But I wanted to add up everything, so I'm now going to hold the shift button, and I'm going to click on B8. So B8. So now it says sum B3 colon B8. And I'm now going to click enter. And there it is. You automatically did the math here. And this is what is makes life so easy whenever you are budgeting um, and whenever you're figuring anything out. Because uh, students, I, I can't recommend this enough. I, I wish, uh, so my wife was amazing and in high school started saving up money pre pretty quickly for college and had about $3,000 saved up by the time that she went into college. I, on the other hand, um, did not do that despite working jobs. Um, and I had about $6 and um, 14 cents uh, in my bank account uh, after leaving high school. And so I, I did not have any knowledge of spreadsheets at the time. Uh, the sooner you start budgeting, the better. Um, the sooner that you're able to start, if you you can and you're able to start saving money away, uh, the better off you can be. And spreadsheets can be such a powerful tool, whatever you're saving up for, whether you are saving up for something like college, whether you're saving up for a purchase of like a, like whether you want a new skateboard or whether you want a new vehicle, um, this can be excellent to save up for. Or if you're like me and trying to figure out how many gas station burritos can I buy per month and have a little bit left over, that would totally have been me. Uh, but spreadsheets can be a very powerful tool depending on what you're budgeting. But before you use the function button on every single total right here, you're actually just going to click on B9, hover your mouse over until you see the uh, what looks like a plus sign here. You'll then click once it's a plus sign, and you're going to drag it over all the way to G9, all the way to the average, and then let go. And it automatically did the math for everybody, automatically got the totals for everyone. And now we're going to do a different function. For G3. We're going to click on the functions, and this time, since it says average on G2, we're going to click on average. Same kind of idea, it says average, and you have the parentheses right here. We're going to start by clicking on B3, and this time, we're going to go over to F3, and we're going to hold shift, we're going to click, it says B3 colon F3, click enter, and boom, it automatically calculated the average, and same idea. We'll click on G3, go to wait until there's a plus, or go to the, there's a plus sign on the bottom right, click, drag, let go, and now it's calculated the average, even the average amount of M&Ms that were in a fun size bag. So last step today, last step, is we are now going to insert a graph. 
to do that, we are going to do this. Uh, what you're going to do is do a graph or a chart of the M&Ms that were in your bag. So we're going to go to A2. We're going to hold the shift button and click on B8. And that should select everything from A2 to B8. We are then going to click on the insert button. We are then going to go down to chart. It will say working, 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 and then boom, it's automatically assembled to chart. But you know what, for this data, I'm gonna wanna do something a little different here. Um, I'm going to go, wanna, I'm gonna go over to chart type, and you know what, I want a pie chart. Not only are they delicious, but I think they actually display this information a little better. So I'm gonna click on 3D pie chart, and boom. There we go, we have a 3D pie chart. But you've probably noticed that the colors on the pie chart do not match the colors themselves. Luckily, there's a very easy solution for that. Um, where you see red, just click on that. That's, uh, you see the word red. And once you click on that part of the pie chart, it gives you the option to change the color. And I'll change it to red. Where I see blue, click on that. And I will change it to blue. Yellow and green are correct, which is awesome. We will then see brown, purple, and to keep things consistent, I'll go to color, and I will click on purple. And there it is. Uh, let's also title it. I'll put Mr. H's bag of M&Ms. Back when I could eat M&Ms, you know, for the whole root canal thing, but I am sure they were delicious. Now, uh, students, uh, that is all I have, I have today. This is our first, hopefully, introductory lesson to spreadsheets and kind of showing you the different basic functions of a spreadsheet um, and also highlighting the potential power that we can find in spreadsheets, too. Um, as you know, we will be getting started with our battleship lesson soon and being able to construct our, um, um, being able to construct those lessons and, I, um, and being able to construct an offensive and defensive battleship board so that you can play battleship uh, remotely or or in a classroom with a partner using spreadsheets. Um, and students, I hope to also highlight and get encourage you if you are, can and are able to start saving up early and using spreadsheets for that purchase or uh, for that purpose, excuse me, I highly, highly recommend it because uh, seriously, the potential here, uh, the potential to be a really powerful and helpful tool um, is uh, pretty unlimited with spreadsheets. And I also now also have to absolutely credit um, educators, uh, Tracy Trembach and Trisha Ross, um, who uh, piloted this lesson and also introduced this lesson to me, um, and uh, were a big part of, sh of showcasing the potential of spreadsheets to me as well. And so I want, definitely want to thank those educators. They not only um, helped me with this introductory lesson, but also um, built the battleship lesson too that we're going to do next. With that said, students, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for taking the time today for this lesson and for putting up with all my dad jokes today. I know they can be a little obnoxious, but you know what? I'm a new dad, so it's like a requirement the moment that you become a new dad. There's there's standards here that I gotta that I um, gotta live up to. But with that said, students, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.